conversion down the field in the passing game. Now you can feel the tempo picking up. SMU brings five. Pass is complete to Slope. He looks for the seven, and he's got the touchdown. 29 yards for Ryan Swope, his first touchdown of the year, 17th of his career. And I just mentioned Ron that SMU's playing a lot of man-to-man -man defense. You're going to see his slant route come in from here, and I'm drawing circles when I shouldn't be. But if, <laughs> once he makes that safety miss, once Ryan Smith can't make the tackle, it's just straight in the end zone. Just a quick slant. He found the crease. And the AM fans love it. And the extra point. Bertolette missed a field goal already today. And he will slide this one inside the right upright. So Manziel hooks up for the touchdown pass with his big senior wide receiver out of Austin, Texas. And the Aggies have taken a 7 0 lead on the Mustangs. Oh, yes. Studio we have it is nice. I like it. Makes Kevin Frazier look good. Manziel flushed out of the pocket. Johnny Manziel's got 15 yards to go, and he scores. <laughs> 48 yards for Manziel. His longest rush of his career and his first ru or second rushing touchdown. And that'll look really good on that big screen in the studio. The spark plug, Mr. Excitement. This is the added dimension that he brings to this Aggie offense that they really haven't had with Kevin Sumlin everywhere that he's gone. He's had a quarterback that just makes good decisions, is accurate with the football. Never a guy as athletic as Johnny Manziel. The sky's the limit for this young man as he continues to grow and improve in this offense. Well, he made the right decision there to just take off. Davis Plowman with the extra point, and it is blocked. Still on the ground. And they finally blow it dead. Margus Hunt, another block. 114 to play in the half. And Johnny will learn if you're going to make that throw from the far hash to the wide side of the field, have to get those feet set and really follow through to get the necessary velocity to get the football there. And third down, they need 10. SMU drops eight in the coverage. Manziel feeling the pressure from Marcus Hunt. Throwing across his body again. Touchdown, Texas A&M. <laughs> Uzoma Wachiku, his first catch of the season and his first touchdown of the year, 26 yards. And good to see Uzoma back on the field. A guy that has 12 career touchdown catches for this Aggie team. And Mr. Excitement is at it again. You do a great job with that defensive front of putting pressure on him and he escapes it. And then he's getting better and better when he's outside the pocket of looking to make throws down the field. Mansell, his second touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the extra point by Bertolette. And it is good. And he was almost a veteran wide receiver, so he understands that I have a young quarterback, so I might not get the football initially, which he doesn't get. But when he sees Johnny Manziel scramble, you see him move up the field, and those scramble rules come into play. And when you have mm -hmm. veteran wide receivers, they don't quit. You know, a lot of times those young guys, they don't get the ball initially. They'll just sit back and watch and become a spectator. Ozama has been around. He's played with some good quarterbacks, Ryan Tannehill and some of those guys who's athletic. So he knows if he continues to find and work and try and get open, that when those guys scramble, they can get him the football, and it results in an Aggie touchdown. Now watch who a three-year starter for this Texas A&M team. It took him eight plays to go 73 yards and just 123 on the clock. I mean, think about it. We were scoreless after the first quarter, and now it's 20 to nothing, Texas A&M. And, and Kevin Sumlin standing by with Desmond Purnell. Coach Sumlin, Johnny Menzel's only making his second career start, but you really can't tell by the half he's had. Assess his play through two quarters. Well, you know, he's made plays with his feet just like he did a week ago. He's a great athlete. Uh, 
out. Might need to sit in there a little bit more and throw it. He's made some good throws. You know, that's part of the part of the uh, his game is moving around and throwing on the run. But uh, I think the story of, of the first half is our defensive play. What have you guys defensively been able to do to take Zach Lyon out of the game, a guy that had over 120 yards against Texas A&M last year? Well, I, you know, he, he, I think our front's playing well. You know, Coach Snyder's giving him a bunch of different looks. Uh, you know, we, we, our, our front's been playing very well, and we've been pressuring the quarterback when we had opportunity. So, you know, we, we, we continue to play defense like that. We'll, we'll feed off of that, and they've gotten us the ball back. We've been able to capitalize. We appreciate your time, Coach. All right, thank you. All right, his team leads at the half, 20 to nothing. His first reception of the year. And really impressed with Kenneth Hacker, the cornerback from SMU. He's really competed today. And he fought through a pick right there. Sure-handed tackle by the corner. This is the eighth play of the drive. Pressure on Manziel. Spins away. Looks. Fires. Caught. First down and then some. It'll be six for Texas A&M. <laughs> 42 yards for Kenrick McNeil. What a job by Houdini Manziel. I told you at the open, in the open, I said this kid, you know, could be one of those transcendent players that just doesn't come along that often. I mean, the strength to get out of that, the awareness to keep his head upfield. I mean, the excitement level, if you're a skilled player of playing with a quarterback like this, who's going to give you opportunities on a consistent basis to make plays. If he really just continues to improve his and work at his craft, the sky's the limit for how successful he can be. Well, Bertolette had one extra point blocked. This one's good. Marcus Hunt was not able to get a hand on it. Kendrick McNeil out of Spring, Texas. First touchdown catch of the year, the fourth of his career, but all set up by number two. Texas Tech. I was going by Gil Brandt, former Dallas Cowboy executive, who's quite the scout of the National Football League, and he said, you know, that Cliff Kingsbury, he's an outstanding football coach, and he's going to be a head coach one of these days. Someone hopes that's probably later rather than sooner. Manziel again. Tucks it, runs away from everybody. Dips the shoulder, and he gets in. Manziel scampering for the touchdown of 15 yards. 15 yards on the touchdown for Manziel, that little dip of the shoulder. Johnny Manziel is going to be a problem for defense in the SEC. <laughs> Here it is. He dead legs Kenneth Acker, and this is what I love. He finishes his runs. Yeah, like he's not a, a real big player, but he runs with a lot of strength in his lower body. Doesn't get arm tackled a lot in the open field. Well, he dipped the shoulder. Jeremy Gray bought it. That allowed him to go the final couple of yards. Bertolette for the extra point. And it is good. Manziel has rushed for 124 yards. He has passed for 268 yards. He's accounted for five touchdowns. Six one, 200 pounds. Prominent high school football programs in America trying to get the young man from action back in his hometown. Benzel looking for six again. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Wachaku with his second touchdown reception. It was good for 11 yards. There was a penalty on the play, but it was a free play for Texas A&M. And that's a subtle aspect of that decision. A lot of people overlooked. The young quarterback understood that it was a free play. I'm going to take a shot, go into the end zone, give my guy a chance to make a play. Uzoma Wachiku out of Allen, Texas, just up the road. I'll say this, Ron. Being from Florida, we think we invented the game of football <laughs> today, but I do have a healthy level of respect for yeah. football at every level in the state of Texas. That high school program do a great job of preparing kids and, and having kids that have high skill sets and elite talents. 
And Bertolette will try to keep it away from Marcus Hunt of SMU. And he does. Four plays, 24 yards, 132, and it ended up with our Brown hand center. Great hands of the game. This is a great job of high point in the football, and he finishes the play by getting both feet down. That would have been good yeah. at the next level. Jeremy Gray just seemed like he lost sight of where he was on that play. Jeremy Gray probably thinks sex thing in his playing with 14 guys. He's like, coach, <laughs> <laughs> we can't cover them all. <laughs> and Malcolm Kennedy. Pickup of 11. AM looking to punch it in again. Williams bowling the pack ahead. Touchdown, Texas AM. And Jamil Showers looked more efficient running the Aggie offense than Johnny Manziel is yeah. that today. I'll send a tweet after the game on. Never, there ever, you go. ever, ever come out of the football game. And the freshman Trey Wilt Williams gets his first touchdown as a member of Texas A&M. Taylor Burleigh for the PAT. Very impressive 80-yard drive that took him 10 plays. Burleigh for the extra point. Trey Williams with the touchdown. Texas A&M has opened up a big lead against the Mustangs of SMU. Check in with Desmond Purnell. Ron, Johnny Menzel is going to grab a lot of headphones, uh, headlines today after today's game. But the key to today's game has been the Texas A&M defense. They've been in beast mode all day. They have yet to allow a touchdown. You guys know how hard it is to keep a June Jones offense out of the end zone. They've been very aggressive, very physical. They've applied a lot of pressure to, to uh, Gilbert and that entire SMU offense. No doubt the game ball should go to the A&M. Defense. Hey, Clay, I think I'm going to call the good people up in Lafayette. Have them bring some boudin sausage for us, Ron. There you go. Well, that's going to be the final play of the game. Kevin Sumlin gets his first win as head coach of Texas A&M, and he does it on the road. His team has 605 yards of total offense, 380 through the air. Johnny Manziel was the, one of the stars on the offensive side. What a performance by his redshirt freshman quarterback. Good confidence builder though for A&M, Sean, after losing to Florida. Yeah, I was worried that they may have an emotional letdown. I mean, so much was put into that season opener. You know, it was supposed to be La Tech, and then the hurricane postponed it. And then you open with Florida, and you end up losing that game late. You know, this could have very easily been a, a letdown game for them, but they showed a lot of poise and, and just a heck of a ball game by this Aggie ball club. Kind of was a tough day for the Mustangs of SMU. Good day for the Aggies of AM, the final again, 48 to 3. Coming up.